Come on, clap it up. You guys, shutting it down. We're at this house. We're at this beautiful home of Congressman Pete. The cutest congressman's name ever. Yes. Congressman Pete. <laughs> Rules and regulations with Congressman Pete. And can we all give a quick shout out to the snorter in the audience? There is a snorter in the mist from the shadows. And they're, they're not afraid. They're not afraid to snort. I feel like the one thing we're all forgetting to comment on is how Pete is an attractive congressman. He's fucking ripped. He's got this beautiful home. He's got a loving family. I just, every time I think of a congressman, I think of fucking Jeff Sessions. I just think of like a golem. Oh, my precious. This dude's in cabinet meetings just fucking dick out. Congressman Pete. I'm here to fucking cancel my calls. I'm ready to fuck. I don't know what it is. This is why the Chinese are winning. Every comic comes up here. What's a congressman? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Apparently he has throws his weight around to have this fucking backdrop right here. Look at this. Do you know how much money you have to have to have this wicker chair in the corner of nothing next to the fucking willow trees and the azaleas? Why do you have, who's sitting over? Is this where you put your rich ass kids on timeout? So they can look over the city you fucking run? You're like Harvey Denting this shit. Good Lord. The delegation of Alabama second district court has the floor. If you say the fuck word one more time, I don't know why I'm British there, I'm British. I don't know what a congressman does. When you own, you're looking down on that house. You're higher up on a ledge than that house with a satellite dish. Apple TV exists and they don't know that. They're still on dish, man. And you got a fucking balcony to look out and just go, the city's alive! He does You're like a fucking night. villain, dude. Every night. You're planning a heist and this guy's in on it. <laughs> Grab from the trees, we're gonna swing our way out. Into the pool, now. This is a cartel house from every episode of Breaking Bad. Go up, go up into the bedroom, go into the master bedroom, there's shit everywhere. <laughs> Oh my god! 57 people live in this house. This is real world Redlands. Congressman P. What happens when people stop being nice and start fucking? You can see the skyline. You built this shit, Pete. Hold on. Let me get this up. Let me get my phone. No, no, no. Don't do that. No, I'm kidding. We don't want a scandal, or do we, dude? Post this shit. He's getting reelected, motherfucker. I don't even know if someone like that gets elected. I feel like you're just like, I'm going to be congressman. I'll put on a bow tie, I promise. There's a lot of money. He just goes, I've got a lot of money here. It's just buried under this fucking property. He's got two bouncers in the back, sitting back there. Two dudes with, with literally anchor tattoos on their shoulders right back there. Diego and Minion right there. They're sitting there waiting for somebody to pop off on this congressman. Blue alert, blue alert. We got a code red under the willow tree. Someone knows about the money buried under this place. This is a fucking safe house. No one's ever lived there. It's the darkest house. It's a Saturday night in the suburbs. Not a light on in the goddamn house. Because you bought that house and made sure nobody lived in it. That's what congressmen do with big dicks. You have a stage on your pool. Is that where you fucking do your speeches? You practice it? I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> Old Petey boy gone done got himself to be congressman. 
Yeah. Old Jeff Sessions, yeah, he's, he made them right. Yeah. He's going to get up there and get the vote. He's going to get my vote because he does think in red lace. He takes care of the meth in this town. It's all natural and it's jobs. It's jobs back to Redlands. They don't need to be making that meth in San Bernardino. We keep that meth in Redlands. You outsource that. That's jobs. That's jobs for Walter and Jesse. They cook it in Redlands. It stays in Redlands. It's the good shit. The blue. It's got the blue. I made my stamp on it. Jeff Sessions of Second District Court. Second District Court. He votes on legalities. Uh, okay, give me a break. We got a sign held up by old torches. Okay, give me a break. I'm just gonna go over here and ponder in the fucking cafe society. I guess if anybody gets cold, we can burn this dry wood over here. That's what they do out here. Somebody's getting sacrificed out here for votes. Send the smoke signals to the inland. Fucking people out here in Redlands do crazy shit. <laughs> he just has all these comments under his breath, but there's nothing I can do. He's got all the power. Fucking the penguin. And I, all my references are Batman villains. You, guys... you are a lot of fun. Did you know that? What is your relationship to this house? Um, well... Not a great sign. Right there. <laughs> Just for sure that neighbor who's never been home. Like, you're just crashing on the couch. You're the one that uses the other desktop computer. <laughs> if you were allowed. Oh, so you're banned from this place. If Pete dies, Alicia and I are getting married. We're gonna be like... That got so real so quick. I did not see that coming. She has a backup plan already. That means she knows you're about to get taken out by somebody higher up. Like, Sessions has a fucking hit out on you now. I know one guy in office, so he's going to be the one I reference. The second district, Cole. <laughs> what a beautiful home. Thank you for having us. No, for real. Like, this is not real. This is not a real house. Is this, like, par for the course for all you fucking whiteies? She's like, yeah, yeah, no, mine's actually four stories, maybe a fifth. We're thinking of adding a fifth as soon as Gordy's over. I don't know what your name is. You got a good vibe, good energy, maybe a Gordy. What's your name? Frank. Frank, yeah, right there, right there. Frankie, let's go with Frankie. Yeah, you're the muscle, you're his muscle, you're the bag man. You take big problems, go away. This guy does the burying of the green, if you know what I mean. What do you guys in the back do then? Uh, no, they kill the guys that come and try to get close to you. They do, they're your secret service, but they're not secretive at all. They sat way over there. The two biggest dudes in the place were like, let's make sure everyone sees us, okay? I want to be this close to the Lagunitas and not close to the target. The worst fucking security you could have ever hired. Those dudes just smoked seven blunts and sat down, brought their own lawn chairs, they're in Crocs and socks. You need better, you need better people. Those guys have fanny packs just full of blunts. I want to say thank you one time. I'm going to say a collective thank you and I want to know, what the hell is your fucking passion? Like, how did you, I, I can see why you got elected. You're handsome, you wear collared shirts, you speak good English. Right? Like, that's about all it takes in today's society, given who we've got in the White House, okay? What's your platform? What'd you, what, would, what did you run with? I don't want to take away from your bit. No, this, no, this, the whole reason we're here is because you opened up your doors and are just a fucking awesome dude, and I want to know where that comes from. Oh, he's the money guy. Oh, okay, yeah. Financial security for the future. I got a pool. Oh. I got lights around all the fences and an outdoor grill. Two computers, but no furniture in the living room. <laughs> Let's put all the furniture in the bedroom. Everything in the bedroom, now. We're just gonna leave the one Aladdin carpet for the magic rides and get rid of all the furniture so they come in and they see the two desktop computers and know that I hack shit. I drink Mountain Dew Code Red and I fucking hack into the Pentagon. I'm the leaker. I do the leaking. That's why they call me Pete the Leaker. 
Fucking Frankie was there. He saw it go down. He buried the cords. Oh, city is alive. Does anyone just think he comes out here at night? Look at what I've created. This is my city. All of this would not be here if not for me and Frankie and Sean, who's not on my team anymore. Good for you. I want to get into Paul. I want to look at this. Built this on. I want to worry about the finances. <laughs> Guy was like, I'm worried about how much money we're spending while he has the most luxurious. I'm worried about the spending. <laughs> oh, is that how is that how it works? You raised all this money and then we're like, well, there's so much left over. I'm not a criminal if I build my own house with all this leftover money. That's not laundering at all. We've got a washer and dryer for the laundering. It's for the kids, yeah. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Pete. It's for the kids, man. I, I, you're in that pool all day. You're taking your, you got your Bluetooth, you got a fucking Pabst Blue Ribbon and your water weights. She's upstairs cranking out at the two computers and you're like, yeah, hold my calls, I'm good to tan. It's for the kids, it's for the kids. <laughs> now you're just referencing stuff we don't know about. Yeah, it was like that time you did the thing with Pete Rose. I don't know what you're referring to. I don't know what you're referring to. Rose, Rose, No, but this is all because of Pete. Don't you get that? Pete is the reason we're all here. This is awesome. Pete kicks ass. He's successful. This is the visual. He's doing great. Why would you be trying? Frankie loves it. If the bag man's laughing, we're all safe, okay? You want to be swimming with the fishies, keep talking. Frankie will take care of your ass. Oh, God damn it. You shape up over there. I'll sick Frankie on you. There's the snorter. She comes out. Comes out every 20 minutes. Just like, uh. You're from the shadows back there. Pop up from the gopher. Gopher. No one's gonna make the snorter. I was like a time bomb that just went off. Just like right in the middle, right in the pocket. <sighs> All right. Yeah, no. <laughs> Pete just goes, so you going to do a set or what? And I can't do anything about it. It's fucking Pete, man. It's his shit. Fucking Pete, man. That's what the dreamers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die tonight. Yeah. Pete and Frank, you're going to take me up. Hey, that was fun, but you crossed the line. <laughs> Hope you can swim. <laughs> I feel like Frankie's got taglines. Yeah, this might not be your last breath. But they're not great. He's still working on them. He's got great energy, but like his lines aren't great. Yeah, you want to be with the fish? Yeah, the fish. Get those fish. I'm Frankie. Remember that. Call me by I am the one who knocks. <laughs> These references are terrible. All right. Overarching theme of the night. This was all for the kids. <laughs> hey, thank you guys so much. Give it up for Alex, Kyle, putting this together. Pete, you the man, dude. Thanks for bringing us all together.